I have losing hope here, but this is why I strive so hard not to use plastic, which every piece of plastic ever made is still on this planet and will forever be on this planet in some form. This is where we are, it should be absolutely beautiful. But what do you find? You find hundreds of plastic shotgun shells. And I'm walking down this road and it's just garbage everywhere. Even if I had a bag with me, there's no way that I could pick this all up. I mean, this is just ludicrous. There's even a sign a hundred feet behind me that says, no dumping, violators will be prosecuted. And just look at this. This is just crazy. Look at all this garbage. Carl's Jr. Yeah, at least that's paper, it might decompose even though it's lined with toxic plastic. Oil containers, soda bottles, old mattresses. What is that, some sort of coolant or something? This is just crazy. Humanity has, I don't, I don't know, it's hard to have any hope. We really need to fix this. No one should be allowed to make these products that last forever. This is just crazy. Right next to a creek going into our water supply. Oh my God, I didn't even see this before. Look at this down there. Can you see this? This is absurd. Tires. This is all going into the lake that children swim in nearby. Oh my God, I have to get a little closer. This is just absurd. Take weeks to clean all this stuff up. Oh my god. Ah! That was depressing. Sorry about that, but I felt it was important footage to share. It really inspires me to be strong in my daily life with my choices against wasteful products and things that could be harmful to my family, especially my six week old son. Welcome to the first podcast of The Green Locavores Dilemma. For those of you who don't know, a locavore is someone whose diet consists primarily of locally grown food. I'm going to be talking about that as well as covering a wide range of environmental issues from reducing plastics and single-use items to eating healthy, especially locally, and making toxic-free cleaning products and lotions, and hopefully saving some money at the same time. As a new parent, I will be covering issues such as polyester clothing, reusable diapers, secondhand stores, and all things healthy baby. Every week, I will be introducing a dilemma, something that I'm currently struggling with. And hopefully, with viewer suggestions, ideas can come together and we can all learn to be a little bit more green, a little bit more local, take care of our families, and take care of the planet. Signing off, Isha. Take care.